Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy Lucky DaVinci. Holding out for IVTV, man. And I'm here with my man's Lega ATM, man. What's good, what's good man? How you? Everything, you know, everything? You already know, man. No room for complaining, you know what I'm saying? I already know. So before we get into this, you know what I'm saying? Shout out your team. Where you from? Who you representing? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, man, shit. Shout out to um, the whole MMP. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 my, that's the squad right there. Shout out to Jeffrey Missy. You know what I'm saying? From Dallas Cowboys and all that. Mm -hmm. Um, shit. I rap Harlem, man. Harlem, New York. You feel me? I'm a Harlem dude up top. You know what I'm saying? Harlem raised, Harlem made, but getting getting out down south. So when I come out the gate, I'm I'm, I'm gotta rep the south. You know so I've been here long enough, long enough to turn myself into a south nigga. Oh yeah. So that's what it is. That's what it is. Man. You feel me? Up top, holding down the south. Yeah, you, know you already know. That's what it is. So. Before we get into the meat and potatoes of the Q and A's, you know what I'm saying? Where did his name originate from? You know what I'm saying? Where it all started? You know what I mean? Um, the whole, the whole, um, Lega, Well, it was originally Legacy. You feel me? I got popped up, got shot when I was a little nigga, and you know I was one of them little, the little young dude that that was kind of came up with the with the the spoiled family, but always hung out with all the hustlers. Fact. You know, you 12 years old, you hanging out with the niggas who's 18, 19. They they had the Murmors and the ACGs. I had them too. Right. You know what I'm saying? So they was getting it off the packs, and I was getting it off of more Dukes. You feel me? But we was out there together. That's real. You know what I'm saying? Then I end up, me ended up getting popped up, and I got caught up in the shootout. Nigga hit me up, almost died and all that. So they was like, damn, little homie died. He's gonna be, you know, his legacy gonna live. So when I came out the hospital, it was like, man, yo, that's it. Yo, your name legacy. I'm like, what? Man, listen, I can't even spell that. <laughs> Back then, like, you don't have to call me Lego, so, and we just, we just rocked out with it. You know what I'm saying? Just still yeah. like that, you know? That was up, that was up. So, what made you think you could fuck with the music? When, when did the music switch hit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, shit, I've been fucking with the music for a while. Like, I was, you know, being from Harlem, I was always up, like, grew up around Cannes, you know what I'm saying? Damn, we, from, we all from the same project. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We all from the same area. Um, so I watched them niggas do it. It was it was kind of easy thing, you know. It was a Harlem thing. Like like shit, nigga just throw a couple of words together. Hold on, I know this nigga ain't about that, and he he selling records, mm -hmm. and I know this nigga pussy, and he yeah. selling records. Hold on, I got I got a buzz in the hood. I'm getting money. I could do this Your too. Your shit is real, right? You feel me? So I said, let me let me try this. Fact. And then you know I, I went I went about it, did it. I caught a situation. Um, I caught a situation with Universal. And that shit was more like a, a raping you records type of thing. Mm. But you feel me? So nigga kind of learned this lesson. Went on tour with them niggas. Had like I had um the single we had dropped did top ten on the Billboard. So that was but, what's up though? That was what's up? It, it, it sounded like it was what's up until, yeah. until them checks came in. That niggas like hold on, this shit don't add up. Mm. That nigga said, nigga said, well you know after you pay this nigga, you pay that nigga, you pay this nigga. The raping you record. Yeah, so that's that's they they raped the nigga good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean it, it's all learning. You know what I'm saying? Learning process. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm yeah. You already know. You live and you learn. Damn right. You know what I'm saying? As long as you kept it thorough with that's yourself, it. just how I wrap around and karma come back. Look where you at now. You feel me? That's why I say I, I look at the niggas now. I'll be like yo, I appreciate, I appreciate everything y'all niggas that did is. in that contract. Cause it's not probably. If y'all have treated me good, I'd have probably still been there and got, got, you know, got done dirty in the long run. Exactly. So now, now it's cool. You know, I look at the niggas and wave at them like, yeah, I see y'all niggas at the Grammys next year, homie. That's real shit, yeah, though. That is what it is. So Harlem. You from Harlem. Yeah, yeah. So your pedigree of music is retarded. Yeah, it's more and more on, um, um, shit. You already know that ever. That J, that Ken. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, well, you can go on forever with that type of shit. You know, we don't be I mean? trying to do the new Harlem, because the new Harlem kind of sound like, you know, everybody, you know, everybody tight clothes, <laughs> funny ass, funny ass socks and all that, but, yeah. you know, I keep it the old Harlem. That's real. You know what I'm saying? That's so, what's up. Yeah, that's how we doing it. So, so, so we're going to talk about the ones that you listened to when you came up, though. What are the... What about those rappers? You know what I'm saying? Like the, like, like the, what, what's up? The um, Children of the Corn, I listen to a lot of um, Big L. Um, Fact, Big L was that nigga. Yeah, Big L was that nigga. He was really that nigga. Yeah, he was really that nigga. Stack bundles. I like the stacks, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them niggas at Far Rock. Um, I did, did the, the stacks, the Big L. Um, did the whole dip set thing. I rocked that little G unit shit for a little while. You know what I'm saying? But it was it was whoever whoever had bars. But like mainly pop. You know what I'm saying? I mess with pop. 
fact. You feel me? He just kept it. He just kept it one thousand. Unless he say, he said what he wanted to say, how he wanted to say it. If you liked it, you liked it. Did it. That nigga did not hold no punches with his words. He kept, kept it moving. You feel me? That's real shit. You that's know, real so shit. you can't, you could have you can't walk down a real nigga. Nah, never. So seen. that's how I look at it. Damn right. So you know now we we gonna come back down down south. You know what I'm saying? Now you here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Putting you, you done, you done made a mean stamp while you were here, apparently, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you got yeah. shit kicking off and everything, so what you think about the landscape of the music as far as, you know what I'm saying, Central Florida, you know what I'm saying, niggas that's doing their thing, what, what do you think about it from you being on the outside looking at? Um, shit, I like, I like, I mean, I'm a true fan of damn South music, you know what I'm saying? It's just, some of this shit, some of this shit I be thinking they be playing be like trash. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 probably, it probably ain't trash to them niggas because yeah. them young, young niggas like it. You understand? Exactly. But, but for a nigga who grew up on a different time zone, it's like, man, what are you niggas talking about? Growing up with the lyrical content and all that. Yeah, you, know you got the little, you got the little about. young niggas that, you know, where you can't knock them, you got to get them niggas. They try like the little Uzi, the little, little pumps, trippy red. I mean, let them niggas do their thing, but I can't cater that. You know what I'm saying? I but it. I do like, I do like the certain type of niggas like, um, you know, shout out to Snoop, cause Snoop put me on the arm um, to loose cannon. I like him. Damn. I mess, I mess with KT music. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like Coley. I like certain joints of Coley. You know what I'm saying? It all, it all depends. You know what I'm saying? All depends. If them niggas, if I see it, cause the nigga talk that real gangster shit, and then you see them niggas in person, that light don't match. And it, that shit ain't in their eyes. That's, that's like a nigga gang, nigga, nigga be screaming gang, gang all day. Mm. And then when you see a nigga, like, like nigga, who, who blooded you in? Who's your big homie? Cause whoever your big homie is, my nigga, they gotta take his rank in the way. Yeah. Cause you ass, you feel me? So it's like, it be, make food. yeah, it be one of them type of situations, <laughs> man. That was you know what what That was tough. So yeah, you were priority record? Yeah, yeah, well right now, right now, they, they be finalizing everything with them. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations so, on that. Appreciate that. So we finalizing everything with them. Um, they, they turned my, um, the dude I'm signed to, Jeremy Mincy, you know what I'm saying? He played for, everybody who knows, he played for the Patriots, he played for the Cowboys, he played for the Jacksonville Jaguars. So, you know, they, they actually making my big homie the CEO of Priority South. So, Thanks. with that with that being said, it, it kind of opened up the doors for everything we trying to do. Mm -hmm. Movies, web series, Thanks. the albums, you know what I'm saying? Thanks. So, Thanks. for the niggas who kept the lawyer with him, they going to... They coming we, to snatch that Yeah, we, get, we, we got the bag. For the niggas who didn't get... Keep the lawyer. You get the watch. They got the trash. Yeah. Like, like yeah, that shit is over. You feel me? That's but real, That's but real. I respect homie. Like I respect his. You know, you run into some athletes and they kind of they kind of really wore the dam. But like that nigga, that nigga there, he came he came from the hood for real. He was from Little Town Court and um Georgia Court Statesboro. So you know he a real he a real goon. Just ended up making it out. And, mm -hmm. and you know he taking all the street niggas and I like him because he ain't trying to sign niggas who out there doing a little mumble rap thing in the commercial. He, he trying to sign everybody that's keeping it 100% gangster. Exactly. So exactly. when a nigga sign you, he lets you do you. I mean, like nigga say, you can't, you can't, you can't go out there, right? You can't go out there and, and try to be somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Cause say you got your story. Ain't nobody could tell Da Vinci's story better than he can. Facts. Who gonna be better than you at, at being you? Nobody. Ain't a soul. So that's what I tell niggas. Like when niggas be like, yo, who you trying to, I ain't trying to compete with nobody. I don't want to be like nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm, 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 I got the young nigga with the old school mentality. So if you talk about me in the record, I ain't gonna go back and dish you back. Cause it's a small world. The industry's small. We bound to see each other. Peanuts to an elephant. And when we see each other, That's what it is. you gotta wear two things. You gotta get these hands and these feet, yeah. or you gotta get this buck 50. So however you wanna take it, you gotta take it. That's Hands real. down, you that's, feel me? That's real, that's so. real. So with the priority shit, you got the, uh, what, what's up, Apple? You, what you were speaking about? Ah, uh, yeah, um, I got, um, me and my me and my partner, I caught a federal bid. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got caught, we got, um, came pen drug trafficking, the niggas charged with a whole point. Niggas looking at a hundred joints. You know what I'm saying? They hit us with some trafficking from California, to Chicago, to Miami, to Mexico. So, Throughout the process, while niggas was sitting in the fed joint, niggas was like, shit, man, what we gonna do? Can't come home and get a job. I know we ain't gonna do that. You understand? It in our blood. So niggas was like, well, shit, man, we into the music. Let's, let's try something that's gonna really change the game. Exactly. So we came up with this shit called Impressive, Impressive App. So what it, what it allows you to do, it allows you to go to like, say you go to Vegas, you press on, you log on to my app, right? And it gives you the top 10 clubs, mm -hmm. right? So say you go to Club Da Vinci, 
You tap on Club Da Vinci. That sounds it good gives too. you a virtual watch this, it give you a virtual reality look at the club, right? So you see the setup. So we got these shit called impressive lenses. You put the lenses on, right? You got the table set up. You tap on the VIP table that you want to purchase. Once you tap on the table, you put the phone like that, and it gives you a virtual outlook of behind your table when the club is crowded. With these particular with, lenses with them, you're talking about. With them lenses, you know that's, what I'm that's saying? What's up, so bro. you order your table from there. By the time you order your table, everything is purchased. They send you a confirmation number. By the time you get there, everything is like red carpet edition. We send you the, the luxury Uber to pick you up from your destination. Mm. And it drops you to the club. Then 30 minutes before the club closes, you send there. you a notification that the Uber is outside waiting for you to take you back to the, the That's destination. That's you know what I'm saying? So we caught the situation. You know, we tied it down with Apple. Um, we're trying to release it by December, January. You know what I'm saying? So our competitors is called... Um, Bright, bright app, right? And they made, they made as of this year, a billion dollars. And Apple said they, they app don't even do half of what our app does. So, so you know the nigga said, the, if the rap money, you know the nigga said, the rap money don't work, is always the block. If the rap money don't work, it's always the app. <laughs> so we out of here one way or another. You feel me? So, the ticket yeah, we way. Gucci regardless, you know what I'm saying? So, that was up, yeah, that was up. All right, so we're going to speak to those who's, trying to do the type of shit that you're trying to do in the same light, you know what I'm saying? What type of information, the type of jewels you can drop for them, you know what I'm saying, as in terms of keeping the faith and never stopping what you're doing, so on and so forth, you know? I, I feel like this. Um, I mean, the way the way things are set up nowadays, everybody just trying to throw shade and everything. Right. So if you, if a nigga feel like they better than you, they gonna be, they gonna keep telling you, you can't do it, you can't do it, you, you know, it ain't, it, niggas don't like your music. So on and You know so what I'm saying? Yeah. So on and so I feel like this, for like the people who's trying to get into the industry, I mean, man, just keep doing what you do. Don't, don't ever, you know what I'm saying? Keep, keep, don't keep, you ain't gotta keep the gangster niggas around you. Keep them niggas who's gonna support what you do. Exactly. And play their role. Exactly. Like, I'm not an internet dude. But I got my man on the team that that's all he do. That nigga like being on social media. Well, shit, nigga, throw a couple of selfies up there and we keep it moving. Right. You understand? And he handle that. And then you got, you got, you know, if you keep everything in house, it makes it makes your shit, it makes your course a lot more. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel I feel like for those who's really trying to do it, I mean, you got to put a pep in your step. Like it ain't nobody gonna give it to you. But if, if dudes, see the problem is dudes feel like this. This is where the game going. Everybody feel like, yo, how many Instagram followers you got? Then you, you can have millions of Instagram followers. Don't mean that your album going to be high. Don't that mean you're going to sell no records. That don't mean shit. You understand? Or exactly. well, you could be the you could be the most toughest dude on the block. And still it ain't going to help you. Because they don't, they don't sell no records. You understand? I feel like for dudes that's really trying to do it, you got to speak everything from the heart, man. Because nobody, like we said, nobody could be better than you than you being you. You understand? So the um, young generation got to, like, yo, listen, man, stop trying to be like the little dudes that's trying to wear the tight pants, the little purple shirts with the pink hats and the, and the, and the lime <laughs> green socks. You feel me? Because then you going, like, nigga, you trying to be like everybody else, my nigga. And, and that's what I kind of respect you when I came in. That's why I was like, what you doing with the music? Cause I see you grinding, so you're doing the music, you're doing the, the, the show hosting, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. by any means necessary, you making sure you apply yourself to get in the door. Always. And that's kind of what we did. That's how we got into the, like, we, we got into the whole situation. Like, all right, we, well, we got the app, we got this, and we got the movies coming up right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to work on this liquor company. I'm trying to call it. You know. You know. Back in the day, we had the whole the whole world trace and the bombing. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? So I want. I'm doing something right now where we're gonna shape the, the um the bottle itself, the silhouette of the World Trade Center. So you remember the Trade Center had the little, the little stick up in the top. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be where, instead of, instead of you putting the little, the little metal tip, that's and gonna, be, the liquor, sit in gonna be sitting You know what I'm saying? Then we're gonna call it World Trade Vodka. <laughs> so then we figure what we do is we drop it on 9-11 and give all the proceeds, like the first, the first year to the people who lost their family members. And the, you know what I'm saying, a little tragic situation. That's a hell of a strategy to take off with right there. That's the main step. Yeah, man. We I approve of that already. Yeah, I ain't mean, here yet. You know what I'm you saying? Know what I'm saying? And, I'm gonna make, and I'm gonna make it good for niggas. You want, you want to go to the liquor store and get it with your EVT car? Do what you do. <laughs> you feel me? Let's just get the bag. <laughs> Let's just get the bag. Get it. And the result is the bag. That's it. My result is the bag. I'm not telling you to. I'm not gonna be out there, child. Listen, man. A word, Hennessy. What they charge the Hennessy? Sixty dollars, fifty something. Ah, right, listen, man. You go go get that bottle. It's gonna be the same size as the Hennessy. We giving that for thirty. You understand? Because at the end of the day, 
at the end of the day, it's like it's like when nigga got the dope in the block. You understand? You can have a you can have the fire, but if I come out there, I'm like, hey, the Vinci got them dubs and them shits is putting the fiends on the ass. Corner and the I market. come out there with the with the yeah. two for ten, they gonna be like, well, we like the Vinci shit, but shit, we could we could, we could always afford this nigga trash. And it's going, it's going to be, you know, that's how we're going to win. Corner of the market. Yeah, man. Nigga. That's what definitely, it is. Definitely, definitely. Feel me? So that's where we at with it, man. We're trying, we trying to win all, all around the board. You know what I'm saying? That's why, that's why I, I like supporting stuff like in the Vision TV and all right. that. Because, Shout out. because I, seen, I seen them come up from, from the first episode. Like, they winning. You understand? Like, they, they grind been crazy. You know what I'm saying? And Snoop, Sean, like, I, I don't watch them. They all in the club. You know what I'm saying? They they not playing. You know what I'm saying? Like they 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 had a little camera there. I'm like, God damn it. Out here. Out there. Literally. You heard? Mm-hmm. I remember when I seen them with their shirts, I'm like, what the hell are they trying to do? <laughs> there go another set of figures that wasn't too set with their life. But they kept the ground on. And then I already knew it was official because my people was up top in the Bronx was like, yo, I fuss with them. I'm like, well, that was it. It was rocking. So I, I rock with them a thousand. Like, I think um, I'm trying to get my NFL dude to come down in a couple of weeks once we finalize everything with the situation yeah. and, and bring a whole bunch of, like, different celebrities, you know what I'm saying, to have, like, a celebrity a celebrity show, athletes and all that, and, and take off. And then we could, what we could do is we could bring, like, different local artists and let them come in here. And, and we don't want to hear the tape. Make it spit. Yeah, I'm on that shit. Spit. That's what we want to hear. Keep it, nigga. Nobody got no time for a CD because niggas get in the car, these niggas want to roll up ass. And they want to talk. And niggas want FaceTime. Social media. Nah, spit. If if you sound fire, we giving that bag. You want to hear that shit. That's it. If you say, if you if you got that shit that make a nigga say, I'm going outside to punch this dude in his mouth after. Yo, you got that bad. <laughs> you feel me? That's how we rock. We rock. You need that music to motivate a nigga to get fucked tell, up. For the niggas that be saying, I tell a nigga every time, listen. You know what I'm for them dudes, me, exactly. So for them dudes who always well, say, the the this head. is what I tell them do every time. They be like, yo, but the bad, how we get the listen, man? <laughs> I try to explain to dudes one. I don't know about the recession. My man got the NFL bag. There's no recession for the niggas. What the take. fuck do you mean recession? When them niggas be talking, I be like, yo, what you? T-? They be like, yo, I'm signed. That's well, how you signed? And you looking like that? What's going on? Who you signed to? Oh, you know my little man in on on the west side. You know he got the little spot in the fleet mall. Okay, mm-hmm. I understand. You understand? That's what they doing nothing for you though. You know what I'm saying? My man like giving that bag away. You understand? Hey, so we just actually not to, not to cut you off. We was just um we was in the Ville. Jacksonville like a week ago and two dudes pulled up started rapping and it was from young cuz them niggas coming through on a, on a ride through like oh yo I'm a fan of you I follow you your whole football career and got the spitting but I'm talking about that this nigga don't shut up this nigga was rapping and we were in the car eating shrimps and all I'm like oh, this nigga don't shut up audition man and as soon as the nigga walked away the homie looked and he said yo I'm gonna sign them niggas I like them niggas I said, yeah. He said, yeah, that nigga sat here for 45 minutes and was rapping. And when the beat went off, his man started beat bopping the beat. I said, yeah, them niggas is hungry, B. I said, you got to get them niggas. I, I, the way them niggas are moving, I them niggas moving. They getting a little packed, but they need all the deals they can get. <laughs> yeah, like, look, you, you feel me how God yeah. works? Like, put them niggas in a situation. Who who going to ride from Jacksonville? You know what I'm saying? To get some gas, you run into the NFL nigga in the gas station get the spitting. Like that's that's a blessing. You damn right. Everything is a blessing. I feel like you that's know, that want to in them. You know what I'm saying? You got you, my nigga. That's why. That's why. Whatever. Whatever. Like especially when it come down to people like in the O and all that. Like whoever whoever I could help. And I'm one of the type of dudes that you know dudes get on and they don't want to support nobody. You know what I'm saying? If you get a deal, that's you know some niggas get a deal. They be like, yo, exactly. Yo, I, I got a deal, so I don't want nobody else to get a deal. Now we ain't rocking like that. You feel me? If I got a deal and I feel you hot, move. Mm. Matter of fact, we got um. I think Snoop. I already told Snoop to bring the dude, the dude loose cannon up. I want to hear him. I watch this Viz and all that, and, and I and I'm digging the music. So you know, we see how that play out for him right now when he come up. And if it, if it is what it is, shit. I had that nigga in the office by tomorrow morning. You heard? ASAP, 9 a.m. Before nigga brush their teeth, the nigga will be somewhere surfing for that bag. That's it. That's what we do over here, man.
Oh, what's up, my nigga? And if you you got your shit recording, shoot me a CD. Let's do it. That, you know man, let's get that. We gotta worry about all that. You know what I'm saying? Let's get that, bit, homie. But at the same time, we gonna go in and send this bitch, sign this bitch yeah, off. Yeah, you, you already know, know, man. Shout out to IVTV. Let them know how to yeah. reach you. Every social Listen, media man. site, whatever the fuck Listen, you got. Tell them what it is. Check this shit out. You can reach me at Sean underscore ATM, S E A N underscore ATM. You heard the Twitter the same, you heard? That's all I do. Instagram and Twitter, all that other shit the feds be watching and plotting. You heard? Nigga got 10 years parole, I ain't trying to do none of that. Holla at your boy, you heard? Shout out to my dude Da Vinci. Shout out to my old, my whole MMP squad, dude that poverty, OTM 800, gang gang shit, you heard? Holla. Y'all already know what it is, man. Y'all know how to reach us, man. You know what I'm saying? On Instagram, IVTV, Intervision TV. You know what I'm saying? Facebook, Orlando, Intervision TV. And it's your boy, DaVinci400. That's exactly how y'all reach me on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get at us. Wish you the best of luck, homie. I appreciate you know it, man. Homie. Everything that you got going you on, my nigga. You know Let's what I'm saying? Each one teach one. You already, you already know. One hand watch the other both watch Yo, the shout face. out to everybody on the east side. I hope y'all, everybody doing their thing. East side, B side. Let's lift each other up. Let's, let's stop hating. There's, there's enough bag out there for a nigga rapping, you heard? Everybody who rapping, there's, there's, even if you get a little bag, nigga, there's a bag. You heard? It's get that motherfucking bag. Get that motherfucking bag. Let's get it. Holla, B. Signing off, man.